Finding the end term of an arithmetic sequence. Good day everyone! Welcome to another lesson of Pinoy Math. Our objective for today is to find the end term of an arithmetic sequence. We have learned that an arithmetic sequence is a sequence wherein the next terms are obtained by adding a constant number. The number being added is called common difference which is denoted by small letter D. To get the next few terms of an arithmetic sequence, you just continue adding the common difference or D to the last term. Example number 1. Find the next three terms in the arithmetic sequence 4, 9, 14, 19. Since it is an arithmetic sequence, get the common difference. 9 minus 4 equals 5. 14 minus 9 equals 5. 19 minus 14 equals 5. Therefore, the common difference here is 5. To get the next terms, add 5 to the last term which is 19. 19 plus 5 equals 24. 24 plus 5 equals 29. And finally, 29 plus 5 equals 34. Therefore, the next terms are 24, 29, and 34. What if you need to find the 50th term? Or the 100th term? This is where we can make a general rule or formula for finding the end term of an arithmetic sequence. Here is an illustration of finding the terms of an arithmetic sequence. A sub 1 is equal to the first term. You are not to add any common difference. And for A sub 1, n equals 1. For A sub 2, it is A sub 1 plus d. Here, n equals 2. For A sub 3, it is equal to a sub 1 plus 2d. Since a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 plus d plus d. Here, n equals 3. And for a sub 4, we have a sub 1 plus 3d. Since a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 plus d plus d plus d. Here, n equals 4. What did you notice about the numerical coefficient of d and the value of n? You are correct. We are subtracting 1 from n to get the numerical coefficient of d. In other words, in the formula, you are to multiply n minus 1 to d. Again, d is the common difference of the arithmetic sequence. Therefore, we get the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub n is equal to the nth term, a sub 1 is equal to first term, d is the common difference, and n is the set of natural or counting numbers. For the previous sequence, we have 4, 9, 14, 19, a sub 1 equals 4, and d equals 5. If we are to solve for the 50th term, we don't need to repeatedly add the common difference, but instead use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Substituting the values and solving, we get the 50th term as 249. Let us have the following examples. Example number 1. Find the 16th term of the sequence 10, 7, 4, ellipses. The sequence is arithmetic. The common difference is 7 minus 10. It is negative 3. The first term is 10. And we are to find a sub 16. Therefore, n equals 16. 
substituting all of the values to the formula, we have a sub 16 is equal to 10 plus the quantity 16 minus 1 times the common difference which is negative 3. Simplifying, we have a sub 16 equals negative 35. The 16th term is therefore negative 35. Example number 2. What is the 20th term of the sequence 3, 8, 13, and ellipses? This sequence is an arithmetic sequence since we are adding a constant number. a sub 1 equals 3, d equals 5, and n equals 20. Substituting the values, we get a sub 20 is equal to 3 plus 20 minus 1 times 5. Simplifying, we have a sub 20 equals 98. The twentieth term of the sequence is 98. There are times when the value of n, a sub 1, or the common difference is unknown. Just the same, substitute the values and solve for the unknown. Example number 3. Which term in the sequence 2, 8, 14, and ellipses is 62? Here, a sub 1 equals 2, d equals 8 minus 2, so d equals 6. And a sub n is equal to 62. We are to find the number of terms or n. Substituting the values to the formula, we have 62 is equal to 2 plus the quantity n minus 1 times 6. Simplifying, we have 62 minus 2 is equal to the quantity n minus 1 times 6 by addition property of equality. By distributive property of multiplication over addition, we have 60 is equal to 6n minus 6. Simplifying further, we have n is equal to 11. n, therefore, is equal to 11. There are 11 terms. We now know that 62 is the 11th term. Example number 4. Find the common difference of the sequence where the first term is 12, and whose 15th term is 152? Given a sub 1 equals 12, a sub 15 equals 152, and n equals 15. Substituting the values, we get 152 is equal to 12 plus the quantity 15 minus 1 times d. Therefore, 152 is equal to 12 plus 14d. By simplifying, we get 10 equals d. Thus, the common difference is 10. Example number 5. What is the first term of the sequence whose 13th term is 15 and whose common difference is negative 3? Given n equals 13, a sub 13 equals 15, and d equals negative 3. Substituting all of the values, we have 15 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity 13 minus 1 times negative 3. Simplifying, we have 15 plus 36 equals a sub 1. Therefore, a sub 1 is equal to 51. The first term is equal to 51. Try to solve the following problem. The number of COVID-19 patients being admitted in a hospital on August 2020 followed an arithmetic sequence. On the first day, 20 patients were admitted. 28 on the second day, 36 on the third day, and so on. 
how many patients were admitted on the last day of the month. What are given? A sub 1 equals 20, D equals 8, and N equals 31 since there are 31 days in August. Substituting all the given values to the formula, we get A sub 31 is equal to 20 times the quantity 31 minus 1 times 8. After simplifying, we have A sub 31 is equal to 260. There were 260 patients on the 31st day of August. To summarize what we have learned, the formula for getting the n term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, where a sub n equals n term, a sub 1 is the first term, d is the common difference, and n is the number of terms. That ends our lesson. I hope you will be with us again soon. Happy learning!